the metallic look, sleek and sophisticated, a fantastic setting for speed. Whoa! As the revs climb, the landscape rushes past a pure concept sport car, almost like you are in a movie. Taking your AI images and making them move in the rate is so exciting. There are some really cool text to video tools coming out, and I'm going to showcase only the ones that have a really solid following. I had so much fun making this and exploring. I hope you enjoy and subscribe for more. Right, so let's get straight into it. Um, I'm gonna be using Midjourney first, then we're gonna jump over to Pika Labs, and then we'll go into the narration part and then um, show you a little bit about layer picks. Again, all links will be in the description. If you wanna find out a bit more about how to prompt, check out my other videos. Some really cool things in there around um, natural lighting, camera angles, and um, using using concept. So let's go straight into it. So I've set up my own uh, Midjourney bot. Check out my other video to set up a private channel if you haven't already. Um, so, as we can see over here, I've just popped in a prompt to say, give me a first person's eye view of a dashboard of a concept race car. And this is the image that it created. Obviously, there's a bunch over here that um, I could have chosen from. I quite like that futuristic um, steering wheel-less vehicle. Um, the concept car is um, probably up here somewhere that I created. Have a look at my other video to see how to create that concept vehicle. All right, so once we've got this actual uh, image, um, the next thing we're gonna do is go into Pika Labs. So sign up for Pika Labs, and uh, the description will be in the, uh, in the links. Um, so have a, have a subscribe there. It takes around about a day from what I've seen to get access to Pika Labs, uh, but once you do, very similar sort of environment to um, Mid Journey, where it's all um, in your um, Discord space. So, um, quick demo and quick overview of um, Pika Labs. So, as you subscribe and as you get entered in, you'll be created um, a little um, icon up here called Pika. And um, there's a couple of um, obviously some things up here. So, how to how to use Pika. So, welcome and the server guide and how to get started, all those good things. So again, it's, it's a pretty new uh, channel and um, it's, all, it's all looking pretty good. All right, so very quickly, I'm just gonna show you what I did over here. So I created my own thread. So once I created a prompt, so off you go. So the, the prompting mechanism for Pika Labs is slightly different to um, Mid Journey. So you type in forward slash create and then you'd create your prompt and then ultimately what I did was once a prompt was created, I just said here, create a thread. Um, so there'll basically be a button, um, or I click the envelope to create a thread. Uh, so, so, so create a thread just so you don't get sort of mixed up between all the other uh, different rooms that you can create in. Um, but let's have a quick squiz at some of the things that I quite enjoyed about Pika Lab. So firstly, Pika Lab allows you to create a base image using your other software and tools. So I created all my images using Midjourney and then basically um, uploaded them into, um, into Pika Labs. Uh, it's currently a three second video clip in Pika Labs, um, but what it's really great about it is, again, it uses that base image. Um, they are gonna be bringing out further enhancements to Pika Labs. It's still in a very sort of early stage, but uh, really promising so far. So the way I created um, the, the flames moving, so this is the back over here. So forward slash create, and then if you hit the tab button three times, or if you just click on it twice, it'll ask you for a base image that you want to use. So let's click on the image and then it'll ask you where do you want to get the image from. So let's just click on that and let's go to here. And um, I used this one over here or I used this one over here. So let's do the fire one because I think that's the one that we want to check. All right, so all we can do now is we can type in um, flames moving and we can add in our motion. So it's minus M and two is the highest setting for the motion at this stage and hit enter. And it'll take a couple of seconds. Um, the server's quite busy. But while it's doing that, let me just quickly show you what I did over here. So the prompt moving through trees, highlighting speed. So as you can see over here, it's basically um, in this image over here and on the side, it's basically rushing through. 
And what I did was also try to see if I could do some other effects. So let's click on this over here. So you can see this is a light show. And as you can see, the lights are moving. Um, this was a static image from Mid Journey. And you can see the uh, warrior princess moving. I've got a ship um, in the background. So this is the Black Pearl. Um, and this is ultimately the image that you saw in the, in the video. So as you can see, the flames burning on the sides. Um, you can start adding a bit more complex uh, things, but I found the simpler the prompt and the simpler the image, the better. So this was a rock goddess um, that I created. But as you can see, the face and the, and the hair is a bit weird. Um, but again, I think it's going to improve a huge amount over the next uh, little while. Watch the space. All right, um, so how did I create the effects for the uh, car with the smoke coming off it? I just said super effects and um, that's what it did. So again, really good use of the base image. Um, it's a lot better than some of the other tools I've tried. So I think this is a really good step in the right direction. Um, and have a play around with Pika Labs. Uh, so certain images work really well. I think there's a, a huge amount of um, showcase material. So I did a bit of a raging Pikachu as well. It looks a bit... Uh, Looks a bit raged. I did my meerkats uh, reading, and as you can see, some pretty cool subtle movements there. I did my little uh, dancing bear, and he's, uh, he's sort of lit up uh, a bit. Um, created that. Uh, this was quite cool as well. I took my uh, base Mustang and added a rain effect. So it's really good at doing rain effects, actually. Um, so let's have a look over here. Okay, so it's taken the base image that I've created, and it's now obviously created some moving parts. So um, again, play around with the images, play around with um, how it works. And um, I think you get some pretty cool uh, results out of it. Um, so what I did then was um, I went over to 11 labs and you can sign up and you get um, a number of credits for free. So what you do is open up 11 labs, sign up, and then it'll take you to the space over here. So choose your voice that you would like to create. Um, I quite like Joseph. Um, they recommend using the 11 labs multilingual. So click on that one. And um, you can just type in the text that you would like to create here. So um, a concept car driven for the first time speed. And I think uh, what was quite cool was it actually emphasized the speed um, function, which was really good. And hit the generate button. All right, so really simple. And then to download it, down at the bottom over here, you just click on the download icon and it'll ultimately pop it into uh, an MP3 file, which you can use later. All right, the second or the third thing that I did was using a tool called LayerPix. And LayerPix at this stage is free and um, a really good way to sort of just add a bit more zoomy or zingy effect to a static image. Um, it doesn't add motion, but it, what, what it'll take is a subject and move it around. So let's have a look at what it will do um, for a rock goddess, for example. So let's take this one over here. So you click on the upload button, you add it in. Um, it'll take a few seconds to just obviously upload. All right, and as you can see, it has already taken the image and created a zooming swirly effect and massive emphasis and depth to this picture immediately. You can play around with the animation length, so six seconds, five seconds, you can do the animation style. Um, so if you wanted to go into uh, perspective, that's what this is. Um, you can do a nice wide circle if you wanted. You can do a normal circle, you can do horizontal. Um, so I quite like the perspective. You can change the motion. So regular, less, more. All right, so just go less, more. Um, you can change your focus point. So center, far. And as you can see, it's changed the effect quite a bit. Um, and then some advanced editing as well over here. So you can, you can have a play around with the amplitudes, um, zing around with that and yeah, you can create some pretty cool effects with just using this. Um, and um, again, looks pretty fantastic. Again, to create this image, use Midjourney. Have a look at one of my other videos to try and get some inspiration and in how to do the prompting. All right, so to download it, you just click on share. And you would then click on MP4. 
and save it and it'll download into your environment so those are the couple of tools that i use so mid journey um, pika labs layer picks and um, obviously for the narration using the 11 labs so pretty cool and um, to stitch it all together i use uh, filmora so filmora is um, a, a software tool which is used for video editing which i then ultimately uh, just zip it all together and um, create the video um, if you're looking for more um, inspiration and more concept videos check out one of my other uh, links and uh, happy playing happy fun and uh, see you later